Hello, everybody. This is Kate Pashne from Dedicated. I'm at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit 2025, and I stopped by the Calibra booth to talk to Felix, who's the co-founder and CEO of Calibra. Felix, thank you so much for your time today. I think a good place for us to start is tell the audience what is Calibra, and I know you have this banner here, this unified governance for data and AI. Tell them why do you stand out from your competition and what makes you special? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great to be here. Um, exciting conference. Uh, to your point, um, Calibra, we're the leading vendor uh, for unified governance for data and AI, as you mentioned. So we've been doing governance for 15 years. So if you think about what makes us unique, we have a deep, deep expertise in governance. This is kind of where we started, uh, a background in semantic technologies, that business context, which interestingly, after 15 years coming full circle, is more important than ever, especially with the rise of AI. That's why we also really want to stress governance is important for data. It's equally important for AI. And over the years, we've really expanded our platform, right? It's still governance. We do cataloging, we do lineage, we do quality, we do observability, we do privacy, and we do AI governance as well. So yeah. if you think about what stands uh, unique, uh, um, uh, uniquely could it be apart, I think it's the, the breadth of the platform. And uh, we really believe in this unified experience. That's a unified platform but also the depth of the platform specifically around governance. And I think what we've learned is incredibly important is being able to really serve all different personas and stakeholders. Yes, your technical audiences, but equally important, your business stakeholders, your business analysts, your privacy people, your risk people, your finance people, having them come together in kind of one unified platform is incredibly important. And I think the, the last thing I'd say, again, given our expertise of doing this for so long, uh, we believe we have the best platform but it's so much more than the platform. It's so much more than the product and the features and the functions. It's all about the best practices, the approach, the use cases. And so we really pride ourselves of, of partnering closely with our customers to ultimately ensure success. Yes, thank you so much for sharing that. And you know, you said the magic word, you said AI. Yes. I know you recently had some major product release announcements. So you have the AI Copilot, you have yes. the Slack integration. Can you talk a little bit about how this is helping your customers? Absolutely. AI is critical in both ways. One way, how do we use AI to do governance more automated, right? How do we automate stewardship? I think tremendous opportunity there. And equally important, how do we use governance to do AI better to help organizations get the AI use cases in production faster? And I'll address both. So the first one, like you said, we, uh, we launched our AI co-pilot here. I think it's kind of the expected capability where we want to make it really easy for data consumers uh, to uh, consume whatever's in Colibria. And so we're launching a number of agents that we make available to as a co-pilot conversational interface where so when you look for a definition of customer, whatever definition, KPI, metric you have, you no longer have to go to the right page. You can just ask the agent and it gives you the, the, the definition. Mm -hmm. If I'm an analyst, I want to do some analytics. I'm looking for the right data product, the right data set. I can just ask the agent, hey, I'm doing this type of analysis. Please recommend me the data products or data sets that I should use. And so just the first step on our kind of quest to automate the stewardship uh, uh, work, both from a consumption as well as a curation perspective. But then equally, you mentioned AI, and I have to talk about AI governance, right? I think it's so important. Um, so many companies are doing so much with AI, but it's still a lot of prototyping. And a lot of organizations are really finding that the, 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 the ability to put AI use cases in production is not that easy, yeah. right? It's a big gap. And a lot of it is around, like, can we take on that risk, right? How comfortable are we that we understand what we're doing, what's going on, what data are we using? So having full visibility across all your AI use cases and wherever they are in their life cycle. And importantly, connecting that to the data that's being used typically in Iraq, right? Yeah. To deliver those AI use cases and if there's privacy data, yes or no, is incredibly important. And I think we're really at the forefront of that, uh, of that as well. Yes, I, I agree actually. And you know, I've actually spoken to a couple of people at the conference and they had really great things to say about Calibra. And I know great. your booth has been super busy with yes, demos. Yes, been amazing. It's, it's hard to get a clean spot. So I'm glad we're able to chat here today. Um, you know, yesterday I attended the session with John Tucker from McDonald's and you were there. And, you know, wanted to, since not everybody from my audience could attend that, yes. obviously not enough room here in Orlando. Uh, tell them what are some of the highlights about that partnership that you have and some lessons learned. Yeah, and I think there's, there's three things. One, John is incredible at really deploying and rolling out governance at McDonald's, which is a large, complex organization, incredibly quickly, right? He, he, he was in production in three months with over thousands of, of users. And I think the key is like the change management. He focused so hard on change management. He has somebody on his team 
doing specifically change management. So he was super smart. And that's also something that I recommend every governance leader really think about the change management doing in your organization. Super, super important. Um, the second is what we just talked about, AI governance, right? Again, as a data leader, AI is your biggest opportunity, especially as a governance leader. There's not a better opportunity to kind of hook yourself to because governance is so important for AI. AI is everybody's kind of high priority for every kind of business leader. So make sure you are part of the conversation. And I think John did that great. Uh, of course, he deployed Kuliba AI governance products to help with AI governance as part of that broader platform. Yeah. And so I think that's another uh, key learning. And then finally, it's, it's going back to kind of what differentiates us. I think that unified platform and breadth what I'm seeing with a lot of organizations, including McDonald's, is uh, companies have to typically too many technologies, too many tools. Yeah. And it's definitely a theme around, okay, can we rationalize how many technology and products we actually have to work with? Uh, and this is where an opportunity where for McDonald's is actually expanding the deployment of Calibria, uh, not just the core governance catalog, but a lineage, but also um, AI governance and quality. And I think that that's really, that's really beneficial because there's so much power in that unified platform where you're able to combine quality and observability with classification, lineage, AI use cases. Uh, it's really like a one plus one equals three if you, yeah. if you bring things together. Or equals 30 in this case. Uh, yeah. That's even better. <laughs> Yes, um, yeah, and I, th I thought the session was really great. I think John does a great job to talk yes. through that. It's, because it's not that easy. You know, you can get everybody on board and they want the governance unified for data, for Absolutely. AI. But you're right, the change management is the hardest part because yes. you're still dealing with people, yes. systems, and processes. Absolutely. And all of that takes time, especially the people part. Yep. Yes. Um, one of the final questions I had for you was around your partnership with SAP. Yes. I was actually at their SAP Business Data Unleashed event yes. recently. Um, so how are you guys partnering with SAP and what does this mean for your customers? Yeah, absolutely. Look, um, we've had a long partnership with SAP. Uh, a couple of years ago, they launched a data sphere where we yeah. were a key partner of. Uh, now they launched a business data cloud where we are a key partner of. And why I think it's so important, because if you think about it, uh, a lot of large organizations have SAP. Yeah. And some of the most valuable data is in SAP. Pricing data, product data, financial data, people data, it's in SAP. So how do you, uh, and I talked about it in my session with McDonald's as well, how do you use the data that you have and how do you do that effectively and efficiently? And I think that's why SAP Business Data Cloud Launch is so powerful because in collaboration with uh, Colibra and Databricks and SAP makes it so much easier to use the strong SAP data that they have yeah. for AI use cases without losing governance. And so... Colibri is really the governance layer across kind of all SAP and of course non-SAP data sources. Yeah. And we have deep integrations, deep product integrations uh, and partnership with them. It's, it's so important to partner with the right companies and Absolutely. I love seeing it in the space when you yes. can actually just help your customers by joining forces. So I'd love to see that. Yeah. Um, last question for you, Felix, is if you tell the audience, where can they go to learn more about Calibra and you know, get a demo or any, anything else? Yeah, I'd say uh, the website, Colibra.com, uh, is always a great place where you can find a lot of content, uh, uh, blog posts, demo, movies, and things like that. So it's always a great a great place to go. We have great product tours as well. If you just want to just have a feel of the product, uh, we have various product tours available. So go there, and then uh, we're happy to kind of engage with you and, uh, uh, and kind of learn more. Amazing, and I highly encourage you to follow Colibra on all social media platforms. Felix, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right, cheers. Cheers.